So you are welcome to today's uh, training on geospatial hot. So we are going to learn how to put legend, grid, radius, map, a composition. Most times the final product is map and your client need a map to work with either as a as I say no a street map or whatsoever depending on the team. The map. Hmm. What's really happening? Okay. So the first thing you do if you want to do map uh, composition is to turn your uh, ArcGIS view into what we call layer view. If you come towards the left hand side down, you will see two view here. This is layer view and this is the normal view. Layer view and data view. So we are on data view now that show you the data you are working on. So if you want to do map composition, so insert your legend and the rest, you have to click layer view, which is this. And it will bring your map into layer view. What is happening? Why, why is my map going there? Uh, okay. This is the problem. Why is my map? Uh, let me go back to data view and see. Sorry, just a minute. It's because I'm sharing. Okay. Why is my map here? Let me delete this and see. Mm, Something is wrong somewhere. Let me reopen this and see something is different. No. Okay. Just hold on. Let me relaunch the map and see. Okay. Okay, can you see now? Okay. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay. You're yeah, welcome. We are going to uh, talk about map composition today. Uh, but before you start composing your map, you have to take your uh, the ArcGIS view, you have to set it to a uh, layer view from your left hand side down. You see layer view and data view. We are working on data view. So if I click this layer view, you can see it has put the map into layer view. There are some basic things that sometimes you have to decide the scale of the map that you are willing to work with and the rest. If you look at this map, you can see that it's quite bigger. The, this thing, the, the frame is bigger than the map. If you come to the top here, the, the map scale, you can see a scale. So sometimes the scale will determine the paper that you want to. So sometimes you have to just give it a try. Sometimes you may have to change the orientation of the paper either to landscape or to um, that to landscape or to um, what's, what's the name of the, uh, to portrait. So, and sometimes the, you have to also choose the paper side depending on the map, because if you have a large portion of area, you may have to set it to A4. 
depending on how you want it. So you, there are something you can do here. You no, know, this scale is 175,000. So let us make it 100,000 and see how it will fit into the frame. You can see it is increasing. Okay, let's say uh, um, 75,000. But now um, we can see that our distance is outside. So for you to like move this map, you can bring it into the center by using the palm. You click the palm. You can easily move the map to the desired position. You can see that still depending on if you want this rod to show, if not, you can leave it at this uh, scale, so one in 75,000. So if you want, you can come here and say, focus the data frame to this particular scale. So, so that it will not easily move apart from you using your palm to move the uh, map. So, let, but before then, let us uh, examine this changing of layout to see what we, we have got. This one is on A0 portrait. You can choose A0 landscape and the rest of them up to a5 portrait so i'll just leave it on a0 so let me just leave my map on this uh, scale since uh, i don't want to did i change anything okay it's on a0 okay what was the scale that i choose that time I thought i choose one in 75,000. yeah did i change the Data frame why is this small now? It's like uh, okay, wow! It's like the data frame changes. So okay, let's choose a uh, ten thousand. Ten thousand is bigger. Let's say twenty four thousand. Oh, now let's say twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Okay, it fits better now. Twenty thousand. So um. Now, there are a lot of things that, you know, basically a map must, um, must have at least three things. If you have the grid, you may not need not arrow, but a map must either have grid line or not arrow, it must have scale, and it must also have title. And the scale could be two type either, no, three type either, representative fraction, statement, or linear. Anyhow, but these are the most important thing when you're producing map, there are other things, of course. So, first we will start by putting the title of this map. So maybe let's say Mina map. If you come here, you can see title, you can click title to bring this title dialog box for you. We can start Mina District. This character, Mina District. District. Click. Okay. You can, you can move this to any position that you, you, you want to. You can also adjust this one if you want to. You can just this one too. If you think it's too big for you, just all this one by just holding it and just to, you know, in map, you don't just leave space unnecessarily. So you my space and you make sure that your text or the distribution of your, of your, of the map, uh, of the, the map, uh, should, should I say properties are even, are even. So you don't just overload one side with, too much text or legend and leave the other one empty. So you could leave your title here. And if you double click, it will bring this property for you. So you can think about the position, text style, style. You can even change the angle, the orientation. If you go to change a symbol, now we can uh, actually increase the font of the text. We can make it like now we are working with area you can choose any other area black we can make it uh 
we can increase it to 100 if we want to. Click apply, you'll see it has changed. So you can change the text just by double clicking and bring it out for you. You can also set the angle for the text. You can see it has changed how you want it to be. You can do a lot with this one. So, but let me just leave it as in. So this is the title of our map. The next thing we want to put is the not arrow. Still got inside. And you go to um, not arrow. You will see different type of not arrow, depending on your map. If you want to put it at the at the most time, people put it by the top right side or put it down but it can stay anywhere it doesn't matter sometimes but the traditions are most people put it at the top right hand of the map so let me choose this one you click ok it may not take you to where you want but if you take your cursor and you see this cross you left click you can hold it and drag it to where you want it to be you can now click the edge this this box any of this work if if you click left click it and hold it you can drag it then it will expand the the not arrow so you can take it down here if you want or you can leave it here if you want so anywhere you want to put it is okay so the next thing that we want to insert is the not arrow the the uh, scale bar scale bar you have different one to feet, meter, mile, and the rest of them. So maybe let's use um meter. Okay, you can choose anyone. You can change the unit if you want to. Click. Can also drag it to anywhere you want to. Let me zoom. Zoom to see it. So the scale also you can actually adjust it. You can reduce it. There are a lot of so you see when I increase it, the text increase also, but it covers more space. So you can see you can set the unit. So let me double click it also. It also brings some properties so you can uh, adjust it if you want it to be in meters. Let me change it to kilometers and the division how many number of divisions do you want is it four how many number of subdivision do you want you can choose so let me say three and apply and see the effect you can see you have theory one two three do you want any uh, write up a uh, label after the bar before the bar below the bar how do you want it like this one is after the bar. Let's say before the bar and see what happens. You can see the level is before the bar. If you want it below, you can put it uh, before and after. You can have it if you want to. So it all depends. Let's say uh, below, below center. So you can have it below. But most time I prefer it after the bar. Where is it after the bar? Yeah, so uh, and also you can decide the number of divisions. There are no number of mark and division, division and first midpoint division, no lab labels, single end and zero. A lot of things you can see if you don't want you just want a single division, you can choose no label. So you can play around with it, single division, see? So you can say uh, division and first midpoint. So anyhow you want it, you can also talk about uh, position. Is it above the bar? Is it below? Is it center? So there are a lot of things that you can do with it. So you can format it, the frame. You want uh, it to have like, something around it like a frame you can do that but most time i don't put any frame around it so this is our scale bar you can uh, actually increase it if you want to 
you can also increase it but if you take it vertically it will uh, increase the text so we have our scale what remain now we put our legend now so the next thing to put is legend uh, legend 2 you go to you go to uh, yeah you go to insert still insert legend legend now you will choose what you want to show basically here we have the road the also the district so depending on what you want if you don't want some of them to show in the legend you will highlight them like this one if i don't want the road to show i will just highlight it and use this uh bottom here it will take it back into here so i will not use it but if i want it i will just click here and come up here and put it into the legend is that okay and if you want everything here to show in the legend just click this one and everything will show if you you want everything to move into here you just click everything will move back so you want everything to come everything will come back but i don't want this one you can uh, control click the one that you don't want and then take them back into this place so you have this district now so you can click next just hold on. next choose the text height i'll just click everything next we can always uh, edit it if we want so if you can see your guy then has shown here so let us bring the legend here what we want it to be more visible you can hold it here and drag it to where you want it to be okay this legend is quite big but it's just for this thing under normal circle you can expand this one if you discover that your legend is taking much space so you can move this map map itself by using palm to move the map so that you can have more space for your legend okay yeah then we can move this uh, scale bar you can also increase it one two you can move our title up here and move our north it's all depend as i said how you want it to be so now we have uh, our map legend you can also do a lot of things with the map legend and one good thing with the legend that if you change anything here it will also affect the legend let's see the road now let me change something from the road just hold on yeah let me say maybe i want to change the symbolism of the road to this one now Click OK. OK. There is a way to set the legend so that it can update automatically. So let us right click and go to property so that when you edit uh, anything, I hope I still uh, only display layer I check. Add a new item to legend when a new layer is added. Reorder the legend item when the map layer is reordered scale symbol when a reference scale okay and from i will sort that out later but let us look at some other things that we can do you can increase each of these uh, you can change each of these legend individually the uh, text type and the other one you can also change the data frame like if you want a data frame to be around the legend to have a line you can do that here let us do that first before i come back to the other you you can see that there is a line now defining the legend okay let us double click also again and look at what we can do with the legend the road supposed to change you can also change the background of the legend maybe you don't you want it to be distinct you can use color as the background you can drop a shadow you can do a lot of things you can see that the legend has a background 
maybe the background is not making the text to be seen very well so you can choose a, a background okay um let's look at some other thing and uh, you can actually change the 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 this thing text for the legend also here i choose chanchega let me use bold and apply and see you can see chanchega has changed the text has changed so you can also choose all of them just right click go and hold and apply and choose uh, area black you can choose another color if you want to but let's just choose bold and apply and see you can see everything has changed together so you can do a lot of things with the legend you can even remove something from this one and like if i remove a strict nine I click supposed to go out you see it has gone out from the legend this road to supposed to update so if I move this district 9 into the legend and I click okay it will add up here also so and the rest of them so if I add another layer if I've set it to add the item into the legend when I do it it will just add it automatically so any question before I proceed? Any question? Okay, now we have done that. So one of the things that we do now is to add the, uh, this thing, the uh, grid line. The grid line, now we have uh, the title of the map, we have the north arrow, we have the scale, so we can add grid line and we can also add text any way we want to but before then let me change some color of the of some of this layer it's like they are looking like the same color okay we have less than 10 minutes in case we are logged out we will use the same detail to log in maybe let me use a red color for this one you see it has changed so i am wondering why this rod didn't change but if i you can see if I it will okay maybe because um let me see if it will turn what is supposed to change supposed to change let me just see what is wrong with this let me change it to the red to the red color Okay, you see now it has changed, it has shown red, but it's, it will not be good to have this red color. So maybe let me choose another color to represent both always. So you can do a lot of things, play around with it. Uh, which color? Okay, let me use green. Let's see the visual. Okay, I think this is fair. So basically, if you want to add the grid line of less than 10 minutes, you go to. Um, insert neat line yep neat line and, mm, place around selected element yeah do you want to put another border no place around all element place inside margin let's just say place around selected what is happening No, okay. No, uh, I'm doing the wrong thing. If I want to put the uh, this thing grid line, I will uh, I will uh, actually right click this data frame and go to property. Sorry, I was doing the wrong thing. You go to grid. You go to new grid. You click new grid. Which one are you working on? Is it a graphical divided map by meridian and parallel? If you want to work on uh, using a degree, minute, and second measure grid divide map into grid map unit reference, let us try all of them and see. Say next. It will tell you how many seconds. Do you want graphical and level? Do you want tick mark and level? Do you want level only? Let's choose level only and see. Click name. 
major division, minor division, style, and the rest. Let's just say next, finish, apply. This coordinate system has geographical coordinate system that differ from or more data there because uh, some of them are geographical coordinates. So it all depends if what your data uh, is using, if it is geographical or non-geographical or projected. You want to use this coordinate anyways, let me say it just for uh, just for tutorial. So yes, I say it. So you see it has but they are tiny because of the division used. You can see them very tiny here. Uh, let me see. They are quite tiny. So we can we can actually edit them. Property. Let me go to grid property. You, you right click, you go to property, you go to level, you can increase the level, let's say to 10. Um, longitude and latitude. Okay, let me just, let us see the levels first. Don't show line. Let's just see the level, let us apply. Have they increased? Let me remove the grid first and, and redo it again. Preference grid, radical. Maybe let's use this one and see. Oh, I don't like that one, it's, it's a bit tiny. Okay. But this one. Yeah. This one has put the grid line, but I want to increase the text. One of my, the, the, the uh, data frame coordinate system is a bit different from some of the layer. So that's why I'm having that problem. So you see this one, the text. So let us click this one, right click, go to property. Let us increase the text size and see, um, coordinate view. Let me go to style. No, let's go to property. Okay, level. Want to increase the size to eighteen. To area. Let me see. Alignment and accuracy problem may. All right, unless there's a correct transformation between geographic coordinates. Let me see. Um, yeah, Mina into Mina. Okay. Let's see what's happening. Okay. But what I want is to increase the size of this uh, grid, of this level. This is 28. Let's see. Don't warn me again. Okay, you can see the text has uh, actually increased. Let me see if the grid line are not too uh, close. Okay, I still want it to show, so it's still too tiny. You can still go to property, property, increase the size. Let me increase to like 50 and see how it will be formatted from corner mm, common let me get this size properly you can decide to like just label it at the corner so you can see that the that uh, it has actually increased so there are a lot of things that you can also do with this one now also like uh, if you don't want the lines, if you just want the this in the uh, grid, you can just do it as a tick line or just have the grid at the edge of the map, like four corner of the map, just to make the map more uh, more uh, clean. So we can do that. Let's 
try that and see. You can do a lot of editing here to remove the grid. Let's see. Want to remove the lines so that we can just have the maybe level top bottom. Okay, uh, left level orientation left. Uh, let me see. Wanted inside outside subdivision. Let me remove this one and see how it how it will change. Okay, let me even make it a tick line. I need the line to just be tick line, so you can just make it tick line. Most of I prefer tick line. Show as a grid of line, show as a grid of tick. Okay. So you see, it has shown them as a grid of tick line, just tick line, instead of the other line. And you can also increase the tick line depending on the. You can increase the size of the tick line. Let's say 20. You can see they have increased. So you can do a lot of things. Then you can also decide to say, I just want this level to be at the corners. If you want to. Let's see how it goes. We have like one minute left. Do not show line or tick line. You can say you don't want to show line or tick line. Let's look, use data frame current coordinate system or use another coordinate system. The interval, we can actually increase the interval instead of uh, 3,000. Okay, make this X as a 6,000 and make this one 8,000. We apply. Let us see the effect, okay. So you can see some have disappeared. So you have just few, few of the tick line. You can still do a lot of things. You can increase it. So you can in increase the text. You can tell it how you want it to level the, maybe let's say, okay, 5,000. This one is, or 4,000. I would say this one 6,000. Let's also look at other thing that we can do with this. Take time to load. Okay, we have talked about this system. We have talked about this line. You can also say don't show line, don't show tick. You can click, apply, and if you not show line, don't show tick. But it is better to show tick in case you want to produce it on hard copy and somebody want to like scale the map from what you have given them so i always prefer tick line and i use 20 i think you can also change the color of the tick line if you want maybe use red or any color that that uh, suit you you can see it has changed to red you can use black so let's see what other thing we can use we can watch how we can play more with the uh, with the grid line level level top left level left um, now to look at the axis outside inside you want it to display inside you want it to display outside the one we have now is outside so uh, let me just bring this on so symbol you can choose different symbol but i'm not working the display tick if you want the tick to be displayed inside the frame like the one here too it can do that well let me increase the point of the tick and see the effect of this one now let's see what to do so you can see the tick line is inside so that is how to add the grid line to the map where is the map itself
It's like the map just disappeared. What did I click? Okay, anyway, it is back. So uh, I think maybe we will stop here. Then next week we will uh, learn how to bring object like graph picture into the map. At the time you are working on a map, you want to bring object, you want to bring picture, you want to add them to the map. But before then, also, if you want to like write a text, any text in the map, you can use this box. You see, see it here, very tiny. Has come out here very tiny. So the best thing to do, if you click text and you cannot see, it, just type something. By the time you type something, you will see it coming out. So when you click outside, you will you will see. Then you can do double click and just do anything that you want to do. Maybe you want to label something, so you can easily. Maybe you want to write that here is the name of. Uh, Another step, maybe bounding, just uh, let's say you want to write. Uh, when you produce maps, sometimes you want to show states that are bounding a particular state or a country that are bordering a particular country. So you can use that. Let's say here is uh, uh, maybe this side of the study area is uh, grassland. So you can type. Grassland. Click OK. So you can just click it, drag it here, bring it here. Change the text to go to change symbol. Change symbol. Let me use 24. And do I need to change the orientation? OK. And still increase it depending on the scale of the map. This is quite small. Let me make it like a uh, hundred of yeah. Click change symbol seventy. See if the if the if the label is like not fully you don't have more space you can you can tilt it to a particular angle if i put 90 it will take it vertically if i put 180 here under the angle if i put 270 let me put 270 you can see so you can now uh, it the way you want it you want to so today we'll stop here next week we'll learn how to as i said uh, add picture graph and also how to put another data frame there are time maybe you want to produce map of study area for instance i want to take this particular one of these district and put it here and expand it so that i'll tell people people yes this is my study area if i'm not dealing with the whole of the district you can actually take a portion and expand it and use either arrow to show that yes this particular place look at it on a more bigger map and make this one smaller so we will learn how to add data frame next week and also how to add picture or graph to the map so i don't know if uh, anybody has a question let me save this one so that we can use it next week if anybody has any question or not clear something, please feel free to talk. You can okay. Good okay. evening. How are you? Okay. So my question is on the scale bar. Okay. Um, um on the on the scale itself on the map, you saying one is to 20 kilometers, right? Yeah, yeah, it's in kilometers. Then the, the scale bar is saying something different. Which one? Scale bar? Yes. No, it's in, it's in kilometer. Here, yeah, it's in kilometers. Then, and the one on top is saying one is to 20, 20 yes. Yes, your scale is one into twenty thousand. 
But the unit of the scale here is in kilometers. You can change it to meters. It doesn't mark matter. Do you get it? Okay, let me show, show you something. If I change it to meter, it means one centimeter on the map is one kilometer. Yes. Do you understand? Let's yes, find the place for the unit. You can change it to meters, but the scale will be okay. deeper. Can you see how the unit have changed now? Yes, Instead of, uh, I think it was now is 7,500 meters. If you change it to kilometers, what will it give you? Six. So that yes, is why it's so, uh, so uh, any unit you use will align with what with the map. The main thing is when you are using the scale rule, you will know that from here to here, this unit is in kilometers. The same thing. So if I even change this one out to like, uh, to like uh, or if I use uh, 24,000 now, you will see that the map will be smaller. Did you see that the scale to change here? Did you notice anything here? Okay, let us go back to 20,000. I think it was 20,000. Just, just, uh, just, just uh, take a look. Yeah. Uh, the scale change here. Yeah. So, anything, that's one thing with the GI, the scale change. If you change the parameter, it will update it automatically. So, any unit that you use, that will Okay, so thank you, sir. Yeah, you're welcome. Hello, sir. Yeah. Good uh, yes, sir. Mm, my question is this. Mm. Let's assume that we ask. Hello. 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 Yeah. It's now we can't hear you. Hello? Should I come again? Hello? Yeah, 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 please. I didn't get you. Hello? It's like your network is bad, so we're not hearing you. Hello? Hello? Hello. Yeah. Can hear you. Can hear you. Okay, sir. So my question is this: I said that uh, if we export this map now yeah. to AutoCAD, is it possible that all this grid information would follow it as well? I'm not sure because this is you can easily export that as a shape file. Here you can only export based on what I know so far. I've not really taken time to. You, you can only export it as PDF. If you want to print it on A1 and you want the scale to show, you have to print it, export it as PDF, as A1. So when you print it as A1, it will give you the right scale. So uh, Agile's exporting of map is not like AutoCAD that you can export the whole map and you will open it with. Every other thing, I know too. If you are bringing from AutoCAD to ArcGIS, it will it will distort some things. So because you can only export this one now as a map from uh, export, either as uh, PDF, we will get to that where you can uh, you can uh, export this as uh, PDF for you to to like uh, print out, either as yeah PDF. So you can export the whole of this map now as PDF or as picture. So if it's on A1, that, that is why it is good to set your printing stop. So when you when you send it, then you can put it in your flash and then print it anywhere. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Yeah, any other question? So you can do a lot of things. You can add uh, almost anything change color even this uh, data frame as a whole you can change the color too if you want to um data frame 
yeah, one thing I forgot to tell you, you can also fix the scale. The scale will be fixed so that you can change. So anything that you are writing is to that scale. So it helps when you want to print. It helps when you want to print. I want to frame. So like this data frame, now you can actually choose the background for it, the whole of this map. Let me see. The background. Yeah, this one, okay. So you can choose a background for the map itself if you want to. You see, you see, unlike AutoCAD, where you need to do line fill, so you can do a lot of things with it to add uh, aesthetic to your map. You can also uh, adjust this one too if you want to. So the thing that if you adjust it will uh, open up. So you can do it on this and the scale will be, the, the grid line will go out. So there are, there are a lot of things that you can do with this. You can, you can rotate your text. You can do a lot of things. You can drop shadow if you want to. Let's see. See, you have dropped shadow on it. You can do a lot of things. A lot of things with this thing. So it's just for you to know. You can draft mode, just show names, a lot of things. Get to extend annotation, feature catch, general layer name. You can do a lot of things as I have said. So even the grid, you can uh, adjust the, the text. We have checked this one. This is different style of the grid line too that I found in the in ArcGIS, so we just use a simple map just for training so that you can see how uh, it works. And we can see that you can remove anything from the legend and even the text too of the grid line, you can increase it. Is that okay? So I will try to do the video within the week and post it on the YouTube so that you can go to. But I would uh, encourage you to like play around with uh, a lot of things. We will do more anyway, but if you want to add neat line around the map, you can add this one. So you can uh, also increase the size, size of the, of the frame, uh, where is it? Of the frame, you can change it to something like this if you want to. See, it has changed. So, you can do a lot with it. So, if the, is there any question again? Okay. Uh, Ganyu, anything? Infinity Hot 7 Pro, anything? No reading? No question. Sir? No question from my side, sir. Come on. Okay. So, we'll see no next. Question. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome.